Hi guys, welcome to Amayao TV. Today we are at the day two of the Yamansa Model Annual Impact Roundtable Discussion, which has been tagged Air Tag 22 and Robotics Competition. Yesterday was the discussion on the impact that the model has had over the past five years. It's been operating in Ghana. And today is mainly about the robotics and EduLab quiz. So we are here to see who is going to be judged the first winner for the first ever Air Tag 22 Robotics Competition. Come let's go see what this young innovators are creating. So guys, we are at day two of the Gamanta model Air Tad 2022 and today was the Edu Lab and Robotics Competition and the team from Chebi Model Lab 5 they were unprecedented winners they won both the Edu Lab competition the quiz and then the robotics competition as well so we're just gonna have a short discussion with them to discuss how their journey has been to winning today's event so team Lab 5 tell us about your equipment and why you, th you think it made you win today's competition Okay, this afternoon I'm very excited because I didn't expect this. And we've, we started training uh, since January and we've been working always. Uh, about two weeks ago, we weren't able to go to school every day. Sometimes we leave school around 10 a.m. and then we come to the lab and then we do steady sir, to around 5, then we go home. So when coming here, we were really prepared. People were so amazing, they were teasing and they were shouting, they were ringing. But we, we because we know what we can do, we kept quiet and then we wait for the day. And today too was the day that the Lord has made, has made for so us. So tell us in particular, what, what does this um, piece, that's what your robot, what does it do? Okay, by the way, there's a hand sanitizer dispenser. Okay. And now in this COVID season, we need sanitizer a lot and it's yeah. part of our system now. Right. And everything you touch, after touching that, thing, you must to sanitize your hand. True. And I made, I and my team, we made this sanitizer to help us in our lab because always students have been coming to our lab and then they need sanitizer to sanitize their hand. So this thing will be in front of the door so that before you enter, you sanitize your hand. And this sanitizer is made that you won't touch it. Okay. When you put your hands under it, it will dispense it like the way we have some automatic sanitizers at our churches. So you use the sensors? Yes, please. And this is your ultrasonic sensor. And the ultrasonic sensor is to sense your hand and then dispense the sanitizer. Okay, so let me try it. Oh, guys, it works perfectly. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll shortly speak to the girl team who participated in the Edu Lab quiz. How was it preparing for this competition? Oh, uh, really, I was really prepared, but I was also very sure that I'll get the position like this and. And we started, maybe we used to sleep at 9, mm. left, uh, we started studying at 9 to mm. 12 in the world. Wow. Yes. Are you excited about learning about science and all this robotic stuff? Oh yes, I'm really excited. Uh, and all I have to say is to praise the Lord that He gave us this precious position. Thank you. Thank you. So congratulations again to Lab 5 who won unprecedentedly from Chebi. And the exciting thing was this lab was proposed by the president, His Excellency Nana Adodanko Kufado. So congratulations to Team Chebi. Hi guys, we are still at day two of the Yamansa Model Air Tag 22 and Robotics Competition. I'm joined by a man, you know he's my favorite man because you've seen him with me for some time now. We've traveled across some regions in Ghana and today we are back in the capital city, my, my region, which is exciting. And, um, so, so smart, that's my region. Yes, are you cool and old? We are from the Ghana region. <laughs> but anyway, today it's all about uh, the Robotics Competition and also the annual impact round table discussion. So, We've seen the progress and the work that Helping Africa Foundation and the Nyamansa, Friends of Nyamansa have been doing. What would you feel is the impact that this event is going to have in the long run? The long run. Yeah. yeah. I think it's fantastic. As you can see, it's just amazing what these kids have been able to do in a short period of time that we've pro provided them with these computer centers and the robotic center. It's just amazing. I mean, children are very, very creative. So 
So when you give them the opportunity, they can come up with wonderful things and then they can carry on into the future. The American, um, Deputy American Ambassador was here yesterday, you heard her speech, and she said it would be, be a game changer if Ghanaian, someday we can have Ghanaian engineers that can come up with on the seas of missiles that can go under the sea to check our oil rigs and, and, and things like that. So I think we're on our way there with what we're trying to do. Now, it's only the, the beginning. We've only built 11 of these centers. We're going to build uh, another six or so to, carry, to cover all of, all of uh, Ghana, Ghana's regions. But I think it's important that the government embrace what we are trying to do so they can put a little bit of money into the budget that we can also build more of these things in all of the centers around, around the country. So that's what I hope is, but I think we're doing very, very well. Yeah, I mean, um, with the progress that these kids are making, mm -hmm. what would you say is the future when it comes to STEM education in the next five years? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, when I, they're calling it STEAM education, Steve, yeah, STEAM, <laughs> yeah, STEAM education in the next. Yeah, no, I think um, again, these labs would some definitely push that uh, the, the, the day for reckoning of uh, Ghanaian engineers and scientists to push it forward, because you can see what is happening. It's just amazing. There's some, some the, the invention they've come up with, you know, uh, automatic hand washing machines and all of that. These are little kids that they've come up with. So yeah, no, we are on our way. We're on our way to producing some good engineers, good um, designers and architects and all of that. Yeah. And we'll be here to give you all the glory for the part you've played with your organization, yeah. uh, yeah. Sudekine. I am very happy to do that. I'm a Ghanaian and I serve as executive director of the Happy Africa Foundation. So you know, even though our name says Happy Africa, because I'm a Ghanaian, I'm just making sure that I push all, most of the resources to, to, the, to, the, home uh, to the home country. Yeah. <laughs> After all, you know. Yeah, home is home. <laughs> home is home. <laughs> Yeah, and no, you're always, happy. we're always proud for you. Thank you very much. You Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, just to make sure, yeah. we have built one center in Gambia. So you, you saw the Gambia delegation. We've yeah. been to Gambia, and we have a request from Sierra Leone and from Liberia, which we are considering. So, so you're we're, definitely we're, helping Africa. Absolutely. So guys, we are still at um, Nyamansa Model Air TAD 22. This is day two, and it was a robotics competition. And the team from Lab 3.1 happened to have won for the senior high school edition and it was just a tight nice race between them and the team from Gambia but they were able to win so we'll just have a short conversation how was it preparing for this competition today like we find it tough to approach it because when we had it it was almost time to do it so we just got ourselves to prepare very hard we even just start we can even start for hey <laughs> the pressure was too high but indeed and God being so great and good to us like she was, yeah. So tell us, what, what special um, robotic piece did you do that made you win? What was special about your piece? The special. What was special was they build robot arm and they build driving base. And that's been detected. They don't involve themselves in it. <laughs> so I just thank God for all this. Like, if not by him, I shouldn't have been. Yes. Congratulations, guys. You did well.